The Chief Justice was to perform what the Constitution calls the State of the Nation Address, basically telling you what the judiciary has accomplished in the past year. The three arms of government led the way, the president having sent his deputy vice president Kalonzo Musyoka at the last minute. In the year, judges have delivered some rulings which were considered controversial, for instance declaring the Mombasa Republican Council a legal outfit, revocation of appointments of county commissioners and revoking almost all appointments made by President Mwai Kibaki. The speaker perhaps alluding to the weighty matter still pending at the Supreme Court on whether Deputy Prime Minister Uhuru Kenyatta and Elder at North MP William Bruto should vie for the presidency had a mouth for the judges. Even as you write that ruling, even as you write that judgment, examine it against the political economy of our nation. Law does not exist in a vacuum. They will have to do that with the close to 300,000 cases still pending at the High Court and some 6,700 in the Court of Appeal. It has been an active year though, as the High Court has had and determined more than 51,000 cases and the Court of Appeal 800 cases. The judiciary has also employed 251 senior staff, mainly as High Court judges. We must pay as much attention to the expeditious delivery of justice as we do to wider access of justice issues. We must develop a service mentality that sees each case as a person and not as a file. But even with its decisions, the court still faces the perennial challenge of impunity as those served with orders do not implement them. Case in point, the county commissioners who were declared to be legal in office but still continue to serve, and the teachers went on strike despite orders barring them not to do so. Mutunga says a contempt of court bail is in the works and it will bring harsher penalties to the disobedient. One year down the line and we're out with the old judiciary which was often seen as backward, inefficient and stiff. In comes a new one which looks exuberant and judging from the statistics, efficient as well. For News at 8, I'm Andrew Ochiam.